funny story. So I last stream last week, basically, I talked to, or I went over a video talking about or Finn uh, Finster was talking about how they were asexual. I was like, oh, neat. That'll be interesting to cover. And then like the day after my video releases, Finn uploads a video on the Finster live channel titled coming out thumbnail has is them with pink and blue lighting pretty pretty obvious what it's going to be overall referring to a lot of people have been speculating that Finster was trans and honestly I don't remember what redditor I'm stealing this from but people were trying to crack the egg when you should let it hatch Anyways, let's see what Finn has to say about coming out. Oh wow, I'm so surprised. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. So you might have noticed for the last six months or so, when someone asks on stream or on Twitter or Reddit or something, Is Finn on HRT? I, uh, I just avoid the question. I avoid the question entirely and make a little joke, and that's solely... To my understanding, I was pretty sure Finn was on HRT, and I don't personally care that's their own business. Wait, my stuff is hidden, because I was recording a Dragon Ball Z abridged clip. Uh, name tag. Not that one, that one, that one. Because recently I started HRT. Confetti. Congrats. It took a while to feel Honestly. comfortable to make this video. Even now, I am very scared. <laughs> I don't know why, but I want so badly to be able to talk about stuff that I've been doing, and it's really hard to if no one knows. I want to talk about my life openly and all the amazing things that have happened. So it's kind of nervous excitement, I guess. I, I can honestly totally understand that there is a very fine line that you really walk when being super duper open with your community and stuff. There are definitely some things that you want to keep private, keep personal, but then at least with regards to social transitioning and all that fun jazz, people do kind of got to know. I spent so many months scared and stressed out about trying to pick a label. I'm still not done yet. I still haven't figured absolutely everything out, but I'm feeling comfortable enough to talk about it now. So wait, wait, so does this mean exploring. you're a woman now? We'll get to that in a minute. We gotta do the serious bit first. Why? <laughs> okay, well, honestly, this might be a little bit controversial. I cross-dressed on Twitch for years. <laughs> After doing it for a meme, I wanted to explore my gender a bit more. People have been making egg jokes or saying I'm on HRT for years and kind of because to be fair, you've been super duper cute for years. But yeah, a lot of people will use different forms of gender expression in order to test the waters of socially transitioning. For some people, it's cross-dressing on Twitter or on Twitch and Twitter. For some people, it's always playing a female character in a MMORPG. It Sometimes it's playing something completely different in like D and D, but that's essentially the same thing. Anyways, yeah, it's some people just try out things. Not always the way that others have tried it. I, I, I basically jumped into the social transition when I actually figured out the body I wanted to have, kind of thing. Sometimes it's becoming a VTuber. True. But it's not like a one-to-one, -one, this is always track record for it. There's a lot of excited trans people that like to have, or like to know that there's more trans people out there, so they look for the signals. And honestly, I think sometimes they can get pretty pushy with regards to, oh, that person's an egg. It's like, let them figure that one out. Again, it goes back to the... uh let the egg hatch, don't crack it kind of thing. 
because of that, a lot of the trans community started popping into streams or like seeing my videos or interacting with me. And that had never happened to me before. And I learned a lot. And um, some of it seemed a little bit too interesting. <laughs> it felt a bit like I uncovered a part of myself that I've been purposefully just shutting down for as long as I can remember and never questioned why. I have this. I would bet it's um, social stigmas. That's that kind of it's never really or for a long time anyways at least when i was growing up it's not really openly talked about and often it, representation in the media was just being the butt of a joke for example check out ace ventura one of the big comedy hits of the 90s this notes page on my phone from over a year ago now with a handwritten note of like pros and cons list of taking HRT and when I went to go fill out the cons list there wasn't much I could come up with so I started oh also I know it's stupid but I wanted to say it I that's actually extremely val um valid yeah and reasonable like make that list if if you're unsure about something make a pro and con list it'll help you actually visualize making that difference i did factor in the whole like oh, i wonder if doing streaming and the money that's kind of attached to it is the reason i wanted to do this like is it warping my brain i did think about that i've streamed for years and it's been my entire life and i've made a lot of money off it and i wonder if that's what's affecting me and make me want to do this and it's not this isn't exactly something i just decided ah! This will be funny. And then did. <laughs> I am maybe the most risk averse person I knew. And I was terrified, but I knew it's what I wanted. I just wanted to put that in there just so I'm not like in one of Blair White's thumbnails or something. So, trans? Gender? <laughs> okay, look, I think that's gonna cause some debate and I don't wanna be the one to have it. I think the label that suits me best is gender fluid. But look, whenever I tell people about- Okay, that's what I was spoilerinoed on that uh, Finn is currently settled on gender fluid. There's going to be a lot of- I want a more flattering- This in real, still. real life. On. What I say is- That's a lot better. Um, personally, I use the um, umbrella. Trans is anybody that doesn't, um, that doesn't identify with their assigned sex at birth. So if you are anything other than what people assumed you were as a baby, you're trans. That includes gender uh, fluid, it includes non-binary people, intersex, I guess. It gets fucky and gray. Let people be people. It doesn't have to be at the end of the world if they don't want to directly call themselves transgender. They just want to say gender fluid instead. I just don't care. And if you're going to be playing around with your expression or gender, you shouldn't either. In 10 years, there's no way people are going to be making coming out videos. But I get this has been like a pretty big part of my content over the years as I slowly figured stuff out. So it's worth saying. I feel really comfortable with who I am. I'm so glad I got to this point with such like a supportive group of people. I don't think anyone should feel pressured to come out. And I get that I'm definitely like top of the tier list for... This guy's probably trans. <laughs> I just want to be able to talk more openly about stuff. The easiest thing would be to just not do this. To, to keep cross-dressing forever. But I want to change. This guy's going to town on that nerf dot. I want to get rid of the clickbait. I can finally talk about the stuff that's been going on. And I've got so many stupid jokes that I've kept in the Twitter drafts that I can finally make. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Fuck, I forgot about pronouns. I guess I still prefer he, him. But who knows? They might change. And that's kind of half the fun anyway. I didn't mention this for so long just because I do still feel like you know, boy. I waited so long because I wanted a label for people to attribute to me other than just guy on HRT. Oh. I was just really scared. I'm seeing that. Oh, I know, right? And in regards to the pronoun, they're not forever. If Finn does want to change them, I've been using they, them for Finn because just I haven't been sure. I might... I don't know. I'm probably going to stick with they, them. Though, if he, him is preferred, I might as well use it, right? Scared of people making what I'm doing into like some sort of political thing or just debating my reasoning to exist. And I am just here to be me. <laughs> <laughs> but there is one more thing. Finns just live in their best life, but oh, there's going to be people that... I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if there are people that are all 
see this is the slow generation of the new generation bullshit but for real let finn be finn also i'm bi i like dudes that's weird to say <laughs> everything i say feels like a bit now respect i am also bi God damn it. I know there's going to be a million questions and I can't wait to hear them, but it's just, I am really bad at this. So, I'll see you on Twitch. Thanks for watching. <laughs> this is probably <laughs> the most important video I'll ever make. Oh, fucking amazing. Thank you, babe. <laughs> I didn't expect you to actually do that. I'm going to do this. <laughs> you realize the only reason why I'm doing any of this is because you raised me vegetarian? <laughs> That's true, there's obviously well, a correlation. As I said to you about three months ago, I never wanted to serve. <laughs> I blame you. <laughs> it's all those apples. It is. It is. It's too many fruits and veggies and not enough red meat. Oh, that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I am actually really glad that he included that little bit with his family's acceptance at the end there. Because that was also going to obviously be a big up in the air. Oh, Finn acts like they're so great or they're so happy, but their parents secretly despise them. And then in the coming out video, there's they're cracking jokes together. It, it seems like a great family. I'm actually really happy for Finn. Wherever his yeah, wherever his gender journey takes him. I just hope it's happier places, and it looks like that's where it's leading. Thanks for watching. Like it if you like it, dislike if you didn't. Let me know in the comments why you think I'm wrong. Check out the community on Discord. And remember, if you can't be the sharpest tool in the shed, you can always be the hoe. Just want to take a quick second and thank all the beeps that have joined my channel through the memberships. So thank you, Joestar, Maxi Kitty, JM, and Hero.